So in this video, I'm going to explain solution of this problem which were recently asked in lead code weekly contest 370. So first, let us understand the problem statement. So the name of the problem is maximum score applying after applying the operation on a tree. So what problem has said that we will be given an undirected uh, tree which are which will be having nodes from 0 to n minus 1 and we will be also given our array values and value of i represent the value of i's node and but problem is said that we can choose some number of nodes and take that and take that values and if we choose that node then the value of that node will become equal to zero now but problem is said that after some number of operations and the operation is defined like this i tell you that i can choose any value from my node and that after that after picking that value my value of that node will become equal to zero so what problem is said that after picking some values we will be check whether my tree is healthy or not and the definition of healthy is such that that from root to every every leaf node my sum shall not be equal to zero which means there should be some value in that path now what problem is said we have to tell what is the maximum values i can pick such that my tree remains healthy after picking values for example you can see in this example the, we will we, there is a tree which is given to us and the values are this so if we choose the nodes 1 2 3 4 and 5 which means 1 2 3 4 and 5 which means i am only skipping the zeroth node so if i if i am skipping the if i am skipping the root of that tree then you can see the, the then, then then you can see the sum from root to leaf node will never be equal to zero means there is some there is such there is the zeroth node is always there in, in that sum and, and and i have picked the one two three four and five values which means this i will calculate this i will sum up all the sum of values from one two three four and five and the remaining i will leave the zeroth node and by leaving the zeroth node my sum will not sum will not be never be equal to zero so you can see the sum is here is 11 so what is prerequisite so prerequisite to solve this question is graph obviously and and then db also so if you don't know db you can skip the question because i will tell you the transition of db states means which i am not going to spend the full solution instead i will tell you the all the transitions which will be happening in my function of of db or you can say memorization part so uh, so let us start so you can see if i am having a tree like this so for every node i have i, I will be having two choices whether to include this value you can see whether to include this value or not include this value which will be which i will be representing as pick which means if i have picked the ith node then i will mark my pick you can see if i am picking my ith node you can see here if my if i am picking my ith node which means i will be representing that i have taken my value and after that i can see if some value is taken from the previous node then next node then the next node have to tell that i can I, I will have to skip this value or not skip this value if i told you once again you can see if i am having a node like this if i have a node like this i will be having two choices whether to include this value or not include this value yes and by including this means in my sum in my in my original sum which means my tree should which means in uh, in the in the leftover tree this value should become equal to zero which means I will be having two choices whether to add this value in my sum and my sum is my sum means my score which I have to maximize so you have, I, I will be having two choices whether to pick this or whether to not pick this so if I pick this so if I pick this value then I will go to next then I will go to next which means if I am going to next value I have to I have to make sure that my previous node has already taken this value which means i can also by coming on this value i will having i will be having again two values again two choices whether to choose it or not choose it right because i have already taken the previous value in my sum which means there should be at least one node which should not be taken in my in my sum and which will be presented not picture so you can see if pick state is like this right then my not pick state will be this and what is my not pick state represent so my not pick re state represent like that if i not pick means i have not taken this value means means in my healthy tree this value will be remained which means this value will be remained so if i am not taking this value then i will always take all the values in its subtree 
right because you can see if this is my subtree or if this is something like data also then i will take all these values if i am take if i have taken one of the value in its parent tree right but if if i have not taken any of the value which means i have or i can say if i have taken all the values in its parent tree which means in the in the subtree or i can say in the child tree i have to skip at least one of the value such that my that sum from root to leaf node leave at least one value in the leftover tree or in the healthy tree see i hope it is clear to you so but there is one base case what is a base case if i am coming to leaf node see if i am coming to leaf leaf code for example this is my leaf node so it will be having two choices whether my peak is 1 or whether my peak is 0 and here you can see my 1 represent you can see here my 1 here my 1 will represent i have i have skip i have i have skip one of the values in my upper tree which means if my value is 1 which means there is there is some value there is some, there is some value in the upper tree which i have left for the healthy tree which means i have not add that value in my sum so if it is 1 then i will blindly take this value which means i will take this value but if if my leaf node if i am but if i am at, i am at leaf node and my pick is equal to 0 which means my pick equal to 0 represents that i have taken all the values which are coming from upper side in my sum which i have to maximize which means i haven't left any of the values in this in this leaf to root such that it will be uh, again in the healthy tree which means i i will have to skip this value in order to get my sum so if my sum is zero then i will i will never take this value which means this value which this value will be remained in my healthy tree which which will ensure that my healthy tree sum is not equal to zero for this leaf to root some part so if i show you the code you can see first you can see i have taken my i have taken my function like this so this is my source which means this is my current node and this will be parent so that i can so, so that i will not move blindly move upside down so this is my parent and this is a pick which represent whether i have taken any value from the parent tree or not and this is adjacent matrix we have which i have created from the uh, my edges and you can see i have you can clear it out so you can see on the next is values array for the next is my db so you can see i have two answers answer one and answer two because for every node i will be having two choices if i am taking that value from that current node then the answer will be different for the then answer will be different for, for its children that but if i have not taken that value then answer will be different for answer one that's why i have taken two answer answer one and answer two so you can see i will tell you the concept of c later so you can see if my pick is zero you can see my pick zero represents that i have taken all the values from my parent tree in my maximum sum which i have to maximize or i can say my pick zero represent that my healthy tree that my that, that my leftover tree will not be having any value from the current parent right so in this case i will be having two choices my answer will be like that my answer will be my answer one will be like that that i am skipping the current value you can see you have tell me that my parent tree you have tell me that in my parent tree i have taken all the values in my original sum right so in my answer one represent that i will not take the current value okay i will not take the current value and for its sub tree i will tell them that hey my pick is one which means there is some value in your parent in which i have skipped i have skipped or yeah, i can say i have not taken any of the one value so this will be represent my answer one but what if what is my answer two my answer to represent that i have taken all the values in in your parent then again i am again taking the all all the values in your parent which means i am also taking the current value on which my which is my source or i can say my answer to represents that i am taking the source value my answer one represents that i that i am not taking the source value that if i am not taking the source value then you can say i will pass one to its children and here one represent you can see here one will represent that i have taken the you can see here one will represent that i am ta- i have taken some of the value from its parent okay or i can say i have sp- i am i have not taken some of the values from its parent in my original sum 
or in in the sum which I have to maximize. Okay, so this is a peak peak is equal to zero statement. But if my peak is equal to one, my peak is equal to one means that I have skipped some of the value, or I can say I have skipped I have skipped at least one of the value from its parent tree. So if I have skipped one of the value from if from its parent, then I will I will again pass one to its children, right? Because you can see. There is only there is only need to skip only one value in my maximum sum. There is no need to skip more than one value in my in my maximum sum. So if I have taken at least or I can say if I have skipped or I have skipped at least one of the value in the parent tree, then I will blindly pass one to my parent one to my child and which will again come in this loop, this statement only. So now there are two cases at the end also. If my peak is zero, which means I have taken all the values in your in your parent tree, then you can see I am I am checking for answer one and answer two. So what is my answer? But what is my answer one represent? That I have I have I have skipped the current source. So if I am skipping the current source, then my answer one be like that only. But if but my answer two, what is my answer two representing? My answer two is representing that I am uh, that I am again taking the current value, which means. I have taken all the values in parent tree also, and I am again taking the current value. So I will add the value of source. But if, but if my pick is one, but if my pick is one, that will represent that I have skipped at least one of the value in my parent tree. So if I have skipped at least one of the value in parent tree, then then there is no need to skip the current value. You can see I am always passing one. And you can see this is peak is equal to one case, and you can see this is also peak is equal to one case. So if peak is equal to one, then I will always add a value at answer in my current answer and plus the answer, and this is my the answer of the my root. So you can see. So but there is base case for leaf node. You can see I am checking the leaf node if I if my iteration is zero because which means my C is never incrementing to one, which means this is a leaf node. You can see, na. So if my current node is leaf node, you can see there. Then there also, then there will be also two cases. If my peak is equal to zero, but is my peak equal to zero represents that I have taken all the values in your parent tree. If I if I have taken all the values in your parent tree, then the, then the healthy tree would become zero if I will take this value also. So I will skip the current leaf. You can see I am passing the zero. But if I am at leaf node. And I have taken at least, I can say I have skipped at least one of the value in your parent tree. Then I will blindly choose the leaf code, the leaf value also. So we can see this is pretty much straightforward solution. So the complexity will be equal to n into two because you can see it is a only two peak. Then you can see this peak will be only equal to one or zero. So I can say it is a one D array only because my peak is a constant or two space only. So I will provide you the solution code in the description. So if you have any doubts, you can comment me in the section. You can you can comment down in the comment section. So till then, stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.